Hello all. So this is Asha and I will be dealing artificial intelligence subject this semester. So today we will discuss about history and evolution of AI for which we will start with what is artificial intelligence, what is the history and how did AI evolve and then we will also look into what comprises of artificial intelligence and then we will see some applications of AI. So to begin with, as all of us know, AI is rapidly transforming our world. It's not science fiction anymore. AI is here impacting everything and everyone from how we, you know, shop and then how doctors diagnose disease, how we drive, etc. But what exactly is AI? So let's get into the subject. So AI basically refers to creating intelligent system that will mimic human beings. Okay. So when you talk about humans, how does humans learn? So the answer is humans learn from experiences. Right. So now how do machines learn? All of us know machines learn following the instructions which are given by machines. So far when we talk about programming, what we know is we give some instructions to the machine in the form of a program. We do programming and the machine will follow the instructions which are given by us. But what if we train the machines like how we work? Okay, so how can the machines be trained like humans is the question mark here. Okay, so far we have just executed the instructions and machine used to understand the instruction. But with AI, we give machines the ability to learn, think and produce the results. Okay, so let's get back into the definition of what AI is basically. So we say AI is a branch of computer science which is basically focused on creating intelligent machines. Okay, when I talk about intelligent machines, they will be capable of mimicking human functionality like you know learning understanding and problem solving. It is basically a broad field encompassing various techniques but we will break the different modules of AI and start begin with our session. Okay, so in short, in nutshell, if you want to understand AI, AI exists when a machine can have human based skills such as learning, reasoning and other problem solving skills. When we talk about history and evolution of AI, it just didn't begin, begin an overnight. The evolution of AI has taken place since 1940s. So we will, today in the class we will understand about how did the evolution of AI actually has taken place. So starting with evolution of artificial neuron that is neural networks and then we have in 1950s the Turing machine and the first conference, there was a conference called Dark Mount Conference in 1956 and then the first chatbot Eliza in 1966 and then the first intelligence robot Vabot in 1972 and the first AI winer from 1974 to 80 and then we have an expert system built and then we have second era of AI winers and then we have IBM Deep Blue first computer to beat a world chess champion all of us know about this and then we have AI in home automation and then IBM Watson which won a quiz show and then Google started using AI techniques and then we have chatbots and then we have Amazon Alexa that is the uh, personal assistance and then all of us know what happened after that we have the evolution of transformers large language models and then chat GPTs, generative pre-trained models. So the history of AI actually started with the American researcher called Warren Low and Walter Pitts with, who presented their model on artificial neurons which was considered the first AI project. Okay, So there was a conference which was held in 1956 which was followed by this wherein actual theoretical foundations of AI has come into picture. So in the in 1950s we basically have the term AI which was coined by John McCarthy which says 
AI research basically focused on problem solving and symbolic methods. After the first Dartmouth conference, which is actually considered the birth of AI as a field, researchers have thoroughly worked on it where AI has started coming into picture for everybody. So we have this Turing method or Turing test which actually determines if a machine can exhibit intelligent behavior like a human or not. So when we talk about the first AI winer, the early enthusiasm was tempered by the realizations of the limitations of AI. Even now when I talk about AI, people say with AI we lose jobs. This is one thing which we often hear from everybody. So the early, not just now, the early enthusiasm of AI actually had this limitation of AI. So this particular period from 1970s to 80s referred to the first AI winer where funding and interest in AI research significantly decreased because of this particular limitation. Not just this, but with limited computing power and complexity of AI problem was also led to this. So after 1980s, the expert systems and knowledge based systems on AI started evaluating. Okay, started evolving. So the development of this expert system, which actually emulate the decision making ability of a human expert, brought the actual interest in the development of AI. So there were systems like you know Dendril for chemical analysis, for medical anal for medical diagnosis, we have mycin which actually demonstrated, along with these two, we have so many other uh, systems which actually demonstrated the practical applications and usage of AI in day-to-day -day life. So the second AI winner has started from 1980s to 1990s, where AI gained a lot of criticism with the invention of this expert system. Because of this, the lot of fundings has been reduced and the AI again gradually faced so many challenges and difficulties of stimulating intelligence. After 20s, the 20th century, the advancements in computational power, big data and improved algorithm actually led to resurgence of the interest in AI back again. Okay, Though we started AI in early 1940s, the actual work on AI started taking place from 20th century. So with deep learning, machine learning and neural networks coming into picture, significant breakthroughs in all the algorithms in various domains have come into picture with led to, which led to various technologies like you know, self-driving cars, personal assistants like Siri, Alexa, and then, you know, AlphaGo showcased actual AI potential. So when we talk about 20th century from 2000s to 2010, and then when we talk about the next generation, we had large language models, which are nothing but the pre-trained language model. With the invention of attention mechanism, with the introduction to transformer of self, with, along with self-attention mechanism, the revolutionized Natural language processing, transformers using self-attention mechanism has tremendous increase in the computational capacity. The data's input data was processed more efficiently and effectively with respect to these LLMs. When we talk about LLMs and transformers, one most important transformer model that comes into mind is BERT bi-directional encoder representation from transformers which was developed by google which has actually set new standards of pre-training models which can work on large amounts of text data okay so after that we had this generative pre-trained models which have come into picture after 2018 where open ai has started working on gpt models which started with gpt1 GPT-4 okay the chat GPT uses GPT-4 model which has remarkable capabilities in the text generation question answering comprehension and various natural language processing tasks with GPT-3 and GPT-4 billions of billions of parameters 
of data was processed, representing significant leap in AI's capability to understand and generate human-like conversations, human-like chatbots, human-like language translation, okay, speech recognition. So many things have come into picture. Okay, so basically, LLMs had large impact with transformer models, which led to chatbots where which are being used by almost all the websites and all the organizations, automated content generation, translation services, etc. So their ability to generate contextually relevant text and broad implication across various industries which we work and use in our day-to-day -day lives. So when I talk about AI, what actually comprises of AI? What do I study? How do I start studying AI? Okay, so AI is everything about machine learning, deep learning, natural language processing, and computer vision. So we start with the fundamental concepts of machine learning first in this subject, and then we proceed with other subjects in the next coming in the next coming courses, and then finally we will be completing our AI module. Okay, so basically when I talk about AI, AI refers to the development of computer systems that can perform tasks like how humans can work. Okay, so think of AI as a virtual assistant that we use Amazon Alexa. Okay, on your smartphones we use that home automation that can understand your voice commands and respond accordingly. Right, so Sophia was another humanoid robot which was developed the first, world's first robot citizen. All of us know about Sophia, right? So that is AI. And then we also see, we also know about Tesla cars, which are autopilot cars, which learn from self are another example of AI systems. Okay. So to begin with AI, we start learning about machine learning. Okay. So machine learning is nothing to learn and understand so when i want to develop machine when i want to work on machine learning we deal with working on some algorithms and statistical models that will actually enable computer to improve their performance on a task that you give okay so the difference between normal programming and machine learning is we don't do explicit programming we don't write instructions we will not explain machine each and every line of the code okay so we'll talk about machine learning in depth in our preceding sessions okay so basically machine learning focuses on pattern recognition and machine learning focuses on learning from the data without giving any instructions by a human okay so we call machine learning as a subset of artificial intelligence for example if i have a car picture okay so if i want in the, in the normal traditional programming, if I want to explain machine about car, I have to give the description of the car in terms of instructions. That is, I will write a computer program with the instructions where I'll describe how a car looks like. This is called normal programming, okay? Explicit programming. The image of the car as an example, as an input, and the machine will extract the features by itself, okay? So with human... Uh, support the machine will extract the features of the car and then the classification of the features depending upon the features the classification will be done and the output will be produced as whether the image is of a car or not a car okay now after machine learning AI is comprised uh, AI is comprising of deep learning okay so deep learning is another subset of machine learning that actually deals with neural networks okay which will have multiple layers which also be which we will also refer to as deep neural networks okay so these networks in simple if i want to tell you we say deep learning is nothing but machine learning with brain okay so the machine learning algorithms does not have artificial brain whereas for the deep learning algorithms we have this neural networks that is how a human can learn through brain we will incorporate the neural networks to the machine learning algorithms which is which led to deep learning okay now these networks can automatically extract the features from the data 
and work on it. In the previous case, we require human intervention here for extraction, for future extraction. But when you go for deep learning, as we have neural network associated with it, the feature extraction and classification is done automatically by the machine. So this is the major difference between machine learning and deep learning. And now when I talk about machine learning, we often deal with images as inputs for which we require computer vision. Okay, So computer vision is another field of AI that will give the computer ability to interpret and understand the visual world. Okay, So we use digital images from cameras or we use videos from the cameras and these deep learning models will actually identify and classify the images and then react to what they see. They read that image as input for which it requires some process being done. So that processing of image for a machine learning or deep learning model is done through computer vision. Okay. Now next comes natural language processing. So humans have ability to talk, right? understand the natural language or human language so we will also give machine an ability to understand the human language through this module which is called as natural language processing which basically focuses on uh, you know interaction between humans and computers through natural language the ultimate goal of nlp is to make under make computer understand the language interpret the language and generate the human language text that is chatbots language translation google language translator example of uh, natural language processing models and then we have large language models which are advanced ai models which works on large amount of data enabling them to understand human language virtual assistance comes under large language models okay so the large language models have a value have evolved starting from elmo a small model to large models which is chat gpt4 which we are using now Okay, so next we often hear about generative AI, which is which refers to AI systems that can that are capable of creating new content. You now we generate text these days automatically. We generate images, we generate captions to the images, we generate music. You know, AI is everywhere with generative AI. Okay, so these systems basically learn from the existing patterns and generate fresh original content, generating realistic images writing assistant tools all this comes under your like chat gpt is a generative ai model okay so we have various applications of ai in our day-to-day -day life starting from gaming astronomy healthcare transport and agriculture education e-commerce entertainment robotics automotive social media facebook tagging data security finance everywhere we use ai so there are different applications in various domains and fields which we are using in our day-to-day -day life. So this is the simple introduction to what is AI, how AI is comprised of and what are the different applications of AI. Thank you.